Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be creating a, a Node backend server which is going to send text messages and WhatsApp messages and we're going to use the Twilio provider to be able to do this. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to uh, the Twilio website. Once you get to the Twilio website uh, just sign up for a free account. Once you sign up for a free account they'll give you a trial balance of 13 or 14 dollars just to get started and play around and get used to it. So once you've set up your account um, you'll be you know so once you set up your account and go to your dashboard you'll see they provide an account SID and an art token and they'll provide a number from which the messages will be sent to. So we'll be using these shortly. Um, don't use these numbers because I'm going to deactivate them after the video. Um, so just once you create your own account, use your own um, authentication codes. Okay, so we'll get started. So I'm just in VS Code and I'm going to... Um, just uh, in, initialize an npm. Use the dash y flag. So npm will just use the defaults. Okay, so we need three packages first. We're going to install dot env express and twi So I'm going to say npm i, and we need express dot env and we're going to install the Twilio. Okay, so we'll install those three now. Okay, so we go to our package.json, we can see the three packages installed, and I want to install Nodemon as a dev dependency also, so we don't have to restart the server every time we make a change. So I'm going to say npm i, and then a capital D for a dev dependency, or slash D, and Nodemon. Okay, so we'll go back to our package JSON and we'll create a script in here, a dev script. Uh, so I'll just call this dev. And this is going to be for Nodeman. We're just, we're just going to tell it to um, Nodeman to run a script. And the script is going to run is going to be a server JS file, which we're going to create now in a second. So we're just going to say Nodeman. server.js so we'll save that now in our root folder we're going to create that folder server.js inside our server.js we're just going to set up a, a quick express server so const express we'll set that to express and then we're going to say const app equals express and we're going to require the dot env okay so then we're going to uh, to help um, a port const port is going to be equal to the process that e and v or 5000 so if we were in a production mode um, the process e and v port would be provided by the port or by the server and if we're in development mode it's going to be 5000 so we're going to tell it then to listen to put to the port 5000 app that listen um. OK, 
Okay, so const const express equals express. We add in our app variable where you want to be. We've our dot e and v set up, and we have a port. And then we're just going to use uh, express middleware app dot use, and we're going to use express dot json. And we need this for later on when we're sending body data through for the request. Um, the express.json will parse out the, the JSON coming through for us and we'll be able to read the request body. Okay, so we'll save that now. Now I'm going to run nodemon.dev script just to see is everything okay. So we're going to say npm run dev. Okay, so the terminal is after loading, Nodeman is running, and we're getting the message server started on port 5000. So everything is good there. Um, just going to set up a home route here. So we're just going to say app.get. So on the home route, we're just going to then response so response that send just say hello world save that we'll go to our browser let's go to our local host 5000 And then we see that route is working okay. And then we're just going to set up. So we're going to create a route for our SMS. So in our root folder, we're going to create a folder called routes. Inside this folder, then we're going to create an SMS.js file. Uh, first, we're going to, uh, before we do this, I'm going to uh, set up the .env file. So inside in the root, create a .env file. Inside here, then we're going to put all our authentication codes um, that we want to keep secret. So if you upload to GitHub after, you can hide the .env file and all your codes won't be exposed. So the first one we're going to create, we need an account SID is equal to that. I'm just going to put the variables in first and then I'm going to paste them in. Because I don't want my codes exposed. So if you copy just what I'm doing for a minute. So your account SID token um, all these details here will be on your dashboard of your Twilio account. So if you go to the Twilio, if you go to the console and the dashboard inside your Twilio account, you can see your account SID and your R token will be there. And then your the phone number provided will be there. So I'm just going to pause the screen here now for a minute. I'm going to fill out these and you don't need any quotation marks. You can just fill them out like this. That's perfect. So um, I'm just going to fill out this now and I'll be back in one second. Okay, so once you've updated your .env file, every time you update your .env file, you need to restart the server. So just go to your terminal, press Control C to kill the terminal and then do npm run dev again. Okay, so now we have our server started again. And um, we're going to go into our SMS.js file now. We're going to uh, set up for Twilio and how to send a message. So we're going to say const, we need express again. Um, we're going to set up a router then and then we want to we want to get hold of our variables we set in the dot env file so we're going to say const 
account and we set it up as what did um, account SSID I think was it uh, yeah um, process.env account And then we want to set up our const art token equals to process.env dot art token. Okay, now, um, so we're going to set up a post router. So router, we're going to export this first. So we're going to say module dot export router and router. Post and then we're going to set a variable const msg is equal to request that body that message and now we're going to use our client so we need to bring in our client const client equals require twilio and then we're using our count ssid and our art token so then we're going to use that variable so we're going to say client and then we want uh, a messages and then dot create And then we're going to set the body um, is equal to message. And then we need a from number. The from number is going to be our uh, process.env. And then the from number. And then we need to provide a two number and that's going to be the process.env and the two number. Okay, so that will provide a promise. So that will provide a promise. So then we get a, a we're saying that then message and we're console log the message we won't response to it. We want to do the status. Uh, we're going to do we're going to send our um, that's actually wrong we're going to say the uh, response dot response dash and we want to put in the status here as well and then just to finish it off we just say that done okay so everything's okay there um so to access this route in our, we need to go back to our service server and we we'll say app dot use, and the route we want is slash sms, and that's going to be equal to require uh, dot roots is our folder and sms. So we save that now. Okay, so we'll try that now. We'll see is everything working. We're going to Postman. And we want to go to localhost 5000 slash SMS. And we're going to set a post request. And we're going to be in some JSON. And there's our message to MSG. And we're just going to put in test. Um, press the send button. Okay, it's after sending back the status of queued. So let's pull up our phone and see if we get a message. Um, there you can see we have a text message. Okay. 
Now to there you can see the text message. We have the free account, so we get sent from your Twilio um, trial account test. If we open that message, then you can see the message. So basically, that's it. Is how to send um, how to send text messages um, uh, with Node on a server. Um, if you want to send WhatsApp messages, uh, we need to s uh, set up a WhatsApp sandbox in Twilio. So I'll show you that now. If you go back to your develop uh, your dashboard, you go to messages. You go to where is it? Um, try it out. Send a WhatsApp message. And once you get here to send a WhatsApp message, you um, you need to verify and set up the sandbox. So you need to get this number here, and you need to text this code here, whatever code is provided to you, you need to text dash to the number. And once you text dash, um, you'll get a message back saying that your sandbox is set up. So once you send the code and the sandbox is verified, you need to click on this button here. Um, next, send a one way message. And once you click on the send one way message, it'll bring you into your WhatsApp dashboard and then it'll provide you with uh, the from number for WhatsApp. So we go back to our code then. Um, so once you get uh, the from number from the WhatsApp, you want to go into your um, your .env file and you want to import a variable and put in your WhatsApp from number. Um, save your .env file and then restart your server again. Okay, um, so in our SMS folder then, so to update the code to send a WhatsApp message, um, we're going to use, you just have to put WhatsApp before the numbers. So if we use a dollar sign, um, pre process dot e and v, um, we need to move this number in here, and on the start of it, then we just need to say what's app with a colon. And the from number is going to be the from number uh, WhatsApp, um, or whatever you call it yourself. Okay, uh, that's spelled wrong. WhatsApp, and we're going to do the same down here. Process.env WhatsApp and a colon. So we save that now. Um, so we'll go back to Postman and we'll send a different message. What test WhatsApp and we'll send that now. So it's queued there again. Go to WhatsApp. There you can see our test message, test WhatsApp. Okay, so that's how we can use um, Twilio to send text messages and WhatsApp messages on a Node backend server. I hope you've learned something from this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you all in the next video. And thanks for watching.